I just brought my daughter to uh, her friend because she's she's going back to um, her college tonight. And uh, I was driving, and then I look up and look at look at the sky. Look at the sky. Hold on. Look at the sky. How, how cool it is. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? I had to stop, so I found an empty parking lot on the side of the street just to take that. That's crazy. It's beautiful. Wow. I'm back home, and uh, I think there's going to be like a s storm coming. I can hear the uh, thunder. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, my son is playing hockey out of the region today so my husband is gonna live stream for me so I can watch the game from home so I'm gonna prepare myself I asked my oldest son to buy me a poke bowl so tonight I buy myself so I'm gonna eat this poke bowl it's salmon with mango beans carrots red red what what is it called cabbage some uh, dry noodles it's gonna be good and to eat my dinner and to watch the game because it's gonna be soon I prepared myself a little spot here in front of TV so I'm gonna watch the game there maybe crochet a little bit and that's gonna be tonight I think they're coming back today but later today later today yeah around I don't know 10 30 maybe so I'm going to be by myself tonight with the oldest, but I think he's in his room. It's going to be very chill. Oh, thunderstorm, really. I don't know if you're old enough, but I'm sure all the Gen X will remember that and older. <laughs> remember when they saw, well, I, I don't know if they saw still. You know those TV dinners that look like not appetizing? I feel that's what I'm doing with my little with my with my little table and my keyboard in front of the TV. That's what I feel. I never I, I never do that. But it's a little bit healthier. Look at the big bowl. I needed to change the bowl. I couldn't mix the salad. I'm so hungry, so hopefully I will eat all that. See you after lunch. Can't really see but it's pouring out. It's been a while since it's been uh, raining like that. We had so much beautiful days. It's like raining and there's like, there's like big gush of wind. So I was able to finish my, the body of the cardigan that I'm doing like that. So now I'm working on, which I'm almost done, it's the uh, arm, like that, <laughs> like that, <laughs> and then there's pocket that goes with it. Man, I can't, I can't wait to have it finished so I can start the other one. Let me show you the other one I want to start, you know, with the yarn that I bought, the colorful yarn. This is the one, it's black and white, but <laughs> you can see different shade. It's like different colors, but that's the other one I want to make with the yarn, yarn, not wool, yarn that I bought last time. So I thought I would start it the other day, but I did not really want to finish the, the red cardigan first and then up on that one. Otherwise I'll have like two project laying around so I'm gonna wait um, so my son's game is done I was able to watch it they didn't win unfortunately uh, they lost 3-0 but uh, their goalie was very good um, they worked very hard the other team was good too but the goalie was awesome their goalie was awesome oh our goalie is good too but today like they shot they shot they shot and he was stopping everything. So it's 744 now. Have you seen my watch? Look. Can you see? 
Halloween. I, I put a, uh, a Halloween um, display on it. And then I put a Christmas one in December. My daughter came back to visit this weekend, but um, she was kind of forced to because she was sick. She was really sick. She had a strong flu because otherwise she prefers to stay with her friends at college, which is okay. I'm sad when she decides not to come, but I mean, I understand. It was a big shock when she moved out. Uh, we knew she was going to go to that college for a while. It's weird when they move out. It's like, as a parent, from the moment they're born, they depend on you for everything. Your life becomes them. Your life revolves around your children. Well, anyway, mine did. And don't get me wrong, I liked it. I loved having my kids. Like, I really, really enjoyed the motherhood. But when I, what I want to say is that all their lives, they depend on you for activities, health, food, clothes, love, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you're a parent, you know, and then, then they just grow up and they don't need you the same way as they did before. And you, you're left like, like, it's a weird feeling. So you don't need me anymore? What am I going to do then if you don't need me anymore? It's like an empty space that... It's like an empty space inside that was filled before and now it's empty. It's not going to be... Well, in my case, I know it's not going to be empty all like forever. It's just... At the moment you realize that... that they're, they're 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 on their own meaning they have their lives there's an empty space that 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 is created you're proud of who they became of what they're doing um, you still talk I still talk to my kids um, it's like it's so weird I don't know because probably because we give so much of our time when they're young that we kind of forget ourselves in this? Well, I did anyway. What is, what is, was it a good idea? Probably not. Probably not. But that's, I wanted to, to, to be there for my kids. I wanted, you know, to make sure that they had a great life. I was very happy. Don't get me wrong, I chose. I chose, but what happened now is that, oh, Okay, so now I don't have my kids now anymore to take care of as much. What do I do? I need to find hobbies. But when my daughter left, oh man, I found it so bizarre because you're so happy for them. And you're sad for you. It's all mixed feelings. Even now, I can't really explain the feeling that we, that I have inside it's like i miss her a lot but at the same time what she's doing i wish i could have done that when she when i was her age because that's what i was that's what i wanted to do i wanted to go into theater but it wasn't a real job or it wasn't real studies right in my time so that's not what i did but so what she's doing right now, I would have loved that. So I understand, I really understand. So I'm super excited for her because of that, because that's something I wanted to do when I was her age. So there's an empty space that I need to fill <laughs> with other stuff. Not stuff means object stuff, but other other life experiences the motorcycle is one so that will end my vlogtober day seven please leave me a comment like the video subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow
Bye.